Did you know that only slightly more than two-thirds of Americans age 65 and older schedule annual eye exams, even if they have insurance coverage? And did you know that people with severe visual impairment are no more likely to get an eye exam than those with good vision? That may be because for the past 40 years, national surveys show Americans fear vision loss more than any other health issue except cancer. How is your vision? Do you have difficulty seeing your neighbor across the street or reading today's paper, even with corrective glasses or contacts? Even people with perfect vision should have an annual eye exam. However, if you are having any trouble seeing at all, we at the Iris Network urge you to schedule an exam today. And after that, perhaps your next stop should be at the Iris Network. One of the oldest and most respected nonprofit agencies in the state, the Iris Network remains passionate about its mission of helping people who are visually impaired or blind attain independence and community integration. For more than a century, our vision has been to build a world where no person is limited by visual impairment or blindness, and everyone is an advocate for eye health. What can you expect when you come to the Iris Network? If you do have some usable vision, you'll first receive an eye examination in our low vision clinic. This is not your typical eye exam. The Iris Network's ophthalmologist and optometrist, who are specially trained in low vision, will look for ways in which you can utilize your remaining vision. Working with occupational and vision rehabilitation therapists, our low vision doctors determine the skills and tools you need to best utilize your remaining vision. In addition to suggesting methods to maximize your remaining vision, our physicians may also prescribe low vision devices or, if necessary, refer you for other vision rehabilitation services. Follow-up low vision training helps you maximize the use of your remaining vision by showing you how to use optical aids and equipment, such as magnifiers to read the newspaper, telescopes to focus on distant signs, and light filtering lenses to reduce glare. We know that for many people, low vision services aren't enough, and blind individuals require more comprehensive services. For these two groups, we provide Vision Rehabilitation Services, our largest program. The goal of our Rehabilitation Services program is to evaluate what training is needed to allow you to live a life as fully and independently as you choose and to remain engaged with your family and community. An individualized program may include one or more of the following components. Social work services that connect you to programs within the IRIS network or other relevant community programs and services, such as transportation programs, information about social security, and other possible income options, recreational activities, support groups, and educational classes. Also, assistance in working through the stages of anger, depression, and loss that many people experience when confronted with losing their sight as well as orientation and mobility training to provide you with the tools and techniques that enable you to travel safely in both familiar and unfamiliar environments. Sighted guide training is taught to family and friends so an individual with vision loss can more safely travel with sighted persons. Did you know that more than one-third of adults age 65 and older suffer injury from falls each year in the United States, and that people with vision loss are almost twice as likely to experience multiple falls as those with normal vision? As with our low vision services, when receiving vision rehabilitation services, you may learn to use the many adaptive tools and techniques that will enable you to communicate using electronic devices, computers, smartphones, etc., audio readers, braille and video magnifiers, become independent and safe in the kitchen, how to use the stove and oven and all aspects and tools of meal preparation such as knives, measuring, pouring, reading recipes, timing foods, and labeling kitchen supplies. Management of daily living skills, which may include adaptations for doing laundry, cleaning, sewing, ironing, shopping, maintaining safety in the home, identifying medication, and many other skills. And recreate by showing you how to adapt your leisure and recreational pursuits, as well as providing resources and information about new recreational opportunities. For example, how to learn to ski with a guide. Did you know that 70% of visually impaired or blind people are unemployed? Maintaining current employment or learning the skills needed to adapt to a new employment situation is one of the most critical aspects of vision rehabilitation. The IRIS Network's answer to this issue is our Access Technology and Employment Services Program. This program will utilize the most up-to-date adaptive technology products and teaching techniques to provide the training required to gain or maintain employment. Services are provided to increase your ability to use technology to reach your personal, vocational, and educational goals.
Instruction is individualized and delivered to individuals in the format that best meets their needs. Training is provided in the least restrictive environment, whether it's in the client's home, office, or at the Iris Network's training center. In addition to the individual and group access technology training, this program provides job identification, analysis, and business consultation services. These services will help you attain temporary work experiences, which we hope become permanent. Employers also benefit as this program helps with the retention of valued employees who experience a vision loss. One aspect of remaining engaged with your community is maintaining awareness of current events and news. The IRIS Network even helps with that through Main Airs, the audio information and reading service, a special news and information radio program which broadcasts extensive material from Maine's daily and weekly newspapers to individuals who are visually impaired or print disabled in other ways. In addition to the news, volunteer readers present information not usually accessible in audio form, such as community calendars, shopping news, and obituaries. You can hear Main Airs via your computer by visiting our website, www.theiris.org. If you don't have computer access, the Iris Network will assist you in acquiring the subsidiary channel audio receiver necessary to receive Main Airs programming. And while you're visiting the Iris Network's website, additional information about recreational and social activities, as well as support groups for people who are visually impaired or blind, is under the Community Connections section of the site. You may also subscribe to our monthly Community Connections newsletter. Did you know that more than 50,000 Mainers have significant visual impairment? And that given our aging baby boomer population and the fact that most vision loss today is caused by age-related eye diseases, this number is expected to double in the next 10 to 15 years. We've helped thousands of people meet the challenges of vision loss, yet there are many thousands more who need the Iris Network. The support and services we've been providing for decades wouldn't have been possible without the help from people just like you. And the future will not be any different. It's your continuing generosity that will make a difference in the lives of so many people. There are a number of ways you can help support the Iris Network and give the gift of independence. The fastest and easiest way to give, whether a one-time or recurring gift, is by simply visiting our website and clicking on the Donate button. Or you can call area code 207-774-6273 to make a Visa or MasterCard contribution. You may also mail a gift by sending your check to the Iris Network, Care of Contributions Office, 189 Park Avenue, Portland, Maine, 04102. There are many other ways to support the thousands of Mainers who benefit from the services of the Iris Network. To learn more, visit our website. Again, the web address is www.theiris.org. Or you can call and ask for Terry or Michael, both of whom can help you decide the best way for you to support our services. And that number again, 207-774-6273. Well, thank you for listening to our story. Please consider passing this recording on to others who may find benefit from our services or may consider becoming an active supporter of our mission. For more information, please visit our website at www.theiris.org. Helen Keller, who on several occasions raised money for the Iris Network, once said, The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt from the heart. The Iris Network and Always Serve thank you for your heartfelt support.